my channel and thank you very much for clicking on today's video it feels like a really long time since i've actually like filmed a makeup tutorial as crazy as that sounds because it's a makeup channel but <laughs> i was really excited to pick up my camera and show you guys some festive makeup so today as i'm filming it it's 10 days till christmas so a little bit scary i don't know where december's gone i feel like it's just literally shot past and so i thought what a perfect time to film a christmas day makeup tutorial for you guys so just to show you if you want to get a little bit glam this year obviously things are really different but if you want to keep to the norm and give yourself a little bit of a makeup glam on christmas day then i will show you guys some ideas on how to do it so i think today what i'm going to do in terms of sort of what makeup i'm going to be using and things like that i know in my charlotte tilbury i think it's like my first impressions and things like that of the airbrush flawless foundation and i can confirm i did say in it i think i'm gonna have to use it a few times to see if i actually like it i actually am a fan of it now <laughs> um i do really like it i've been using this quite a lot recently i am still a nars lover as well but i do notice just how well this covers um any blemishes any scarring and things like that so i'm going to be using that today and i think in terms of like eyes and things i'm going to use the naked cherry um i don't think i could be wrong but i don't think i've actually filmed a tutorial using this but i just thought i was really in the mood to use these sort of colors excuse the dirty mirror so i think i'm going to go with that today um and i think maybe a red lip you know it's the typical festive vibe isn't it really with a makeup tutorial everyone goes for a red festive lip so we might go with that if you haven't subscribed already guys please do hit that subscription button we have hit over 200 subscribers i think when i checked i'm 204 so i'm over the moon about that because as you guys know 200 was my target before the end of the year so we hit it so i'm really really excited so if you haven't already please do hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell and feel free to leave a comment down below i do read them all and i do my best to reply to every single one of them so let's get going i'm gonna go straight in with foundation and um, what i've been doing recently is i'm using foundation then going with concealer i have recently changed my concealer i just wanted to give the maybelline fit me a go i think i used it years ago um but as you guys probably um remember i'm normally using the collection 2000 um so i thought i'd give that a go because i use the foundation like for every day yeah i wish i didn't <laughs> it's quite watery so I'm just applying the Charlotte Tilbury foundation with a damp beauty blender. Um, yeah, I wish I didn't. It's quite watery. It doesn't really give the sort of full coverage that I'm like, it just doesn't look as nice around the eyes as the Collection 2001 does. Um, so I will be repurchasing that one. Um, it's okay. It's very, very light. Um, but if you're somebody that is like me and you just want it to sort of cover everything, Mm, it's not really the one the formula is just not the consistency that i like um my blemishes are starting to go down but as you can see i've got this little fella up here so skin is getting better because i did have like a really sort of <laughs> aggressive breakout <laughs> and i don't know what that was about but yeah they are calming down thankfully but yeah so i'm just patting that all over i have found that this foundation sort of sits better on my sort of skin with a beauty blender like a damp beauty blender um but no i moisturized my face before um, and if you've watched my favorites video sort of like my 2020 favorites you would have heard me talk about the aldi moisturizer um yeah i definitely repurchased more i really like it um it just it just makes my skin feel hydrated um, because there's some that I've used before, like, even, like, the Blue Nivea. Like, I know that's, like, really, like, hardcore um, sort of hydration sort of thing. But that didn't seem to keep my skin feeling as, like, nice as it, as it does, really. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm really liking it. And it is under £2. I was right. <laughs> when I repurchased it, it is under two quid. Um, but, no, I do really like it. And, um, like I said before, it's the dupe for the Nivea... Q10 I think it is I don't really like it okay I think I'll just go over with a bit more just because I have some excess on my hand but I hope everybody is doing well obviously I think we're having like another announcement tomorrow or something I'm sure they said it was re being reviewed on the 16th um so I hope people are feeling okay I feel I've actually felt like a little bit like not worse but like i felt different this time around um with like even after the lockdown i don't know i'm just feeling a little bit 
think it's the unsettledness. Like I think I was thinking when this all happened that oh, by winter we'll be fine. And I think it was like the realization like, do you know what? We're actually not like just yet. But hopefully we will be fine. Everything will get sorted. And before we know it, we'll be, be back to some sort of normal as it will be. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that coverage. I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer because I feel like I'm miles away. <laughs> I'm sorry if the lighting seems a little bit different. I've actually tried a new setting just to see if it doesn't look so bright. Um, because Rich actually made a comment. He was like, sometimes you're like, you don't look as, well, I'm not tanned. I'm not saying that because I'm definitely not. But he was saying like, oh, sometimes it can look quite pale. Um, like if he's helping me take like thumbnail pictures and things. So I've just changed like the setting on my ring light and um, to like a warmer tone rather than the white light. And um, just to see if that really helps to be fair. Um, so yeah, if you are thinking, oh, it looks a bit different to norm that is probably what it is just gonna prep the eyes just to let it sink in a little bit with mac painter lily as per usual um but no i've been using like um, a few new products or gone back to a few old ones should i say um so obviously like i just showed you the baking powder um just redone that again um i've done my eyebrows a little bit different just a little bit softer um i look crazy right now i realize this i will sort of dust it off in a second um doing my eyebrows slightly different um but yeah just having fun like using different products again because i do i am a creature of habit when it comes to sort of makeup and things i do like to stick with what i know <laughs> um but yeah no so i'm just like trying things out again so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna use the prime up bronzer um again i think i mentioned this in my favorites i'm really enjoying it like it just goes on really nicely so i'm just applying that just in the same sort of motion just lifting it up but guys something very exciting happened yesterday um so some of you if you haven't followed me on instagram yet because i do upload looks that i don't necessarily record um so actually i think i've got like two up there so no i think two or three whatever um but i'll stick my instagram handle just like in the corner here so you can go follow me over there um because like i said i don't do every look i do i don't necessarily record it but anyway, on there, I entered the Vive party makeup competition. So Vive is, for some of you that don't know, is Jamie Genevieve's new, brand new and first ever makeup brand that she's brought out. And one of the competitions was you had to create a Vive party look using the Vive product. So I personally only have the eyeshadow palette, so the essentials palette. And you had to create your go-to sort of party look and you had to give it a name. Um, and then what it would be is 100 people would get selected to go to this Zoom digital um, party with Vive, with Jamie Genevieve hosting it. So really, really good. And one person would win the, so would be the winning look. And that person, she would recreate their winning look on this Zoom party. So I didn't unfortunately win the look. Um, a girl, I think it's Angelica Grant, I believe her name is. So I'll stick her Instagram down below. Her look was beautiful. And so I can totally see why they picked her. Um, but I got picked as one of the hundred to go to the party. So that is happening on Thursday. So today's Tuesday. So I'm really looking forward to that. So what, I will, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe filming like a get ready with me. Um, sort of makeup, showing you what I'm going to do my makeup like for it um and then if i can just showing you like little bits and bobs of what happened in the evening so i'm really excited about that so yeah that got announced yesterday was it um so yeah one of the hundred i think like 600 people entered it and i was one of the hundred that got selected so i was over the moon i literally screamed <laughs> rich was like what's happened what's happened i was like i got picked i got picked so that was very exciting yesterday um i was so pleased jamie genevieve is literally my favorite um and if anybody's seen like my first ever youtube video it's literally i think it's literally called my first ever <laughs> youtube video um or why i started youtube um i will say in there that she was like the first makeup youtuber i watched um so yeah no i love watching her i think she's so down to earth and genuine and 
yeah i'm really excited i can't wait so hopefully i'll be able to show you little bits and bobs but i'm definitely thinking of filming a get ready with me just to show you guys like my look that i create <laughs> but yeah so i wanted to share that with you guys and um, just let you guys know that i won a spot but no it was really good fun but um yeah go check out my instagram and you'll see the look that i created for it um i done like a hollywood glam sort of thing that's what i wanted to do oh sorry guys i'm chatting away um i used also primark blusher did i say poundland bronzer or did i say Primark? because it's definitely primark primark bronzer and primark blusher i really like that as well they're both a pound um very pigmented and then i've just used my typical makeup revolution being like mischief and madness highlighter so part of the nightmare before christmas collection i really really like it. i'm still using it every single day um sometimes i think the pink comes out a bit too pigmented for my liking okay, so that is my base done so now we're going to start with the eyes so i'm such a messy makeup person literally everything is everywhere and i'm not trying to keep tidy as i'm going so like i said i'm going to use the naked cherry palette so i'm trying to think what to go in with hmm i think maybe i will start i'm going to start lighter and then gradually build so i think i might go in with feels which is just this one here so just using a naked brush funny enough and i'm just going to go into the crease and just really lightly putting it in there I recently like washed my brushes like just before this video and you know when like they're not completely dry and you can feel everything on them <laughs> that is my life right now i haven't even watched that many christmas films yet guys i've watched i'm gonna say i haven't watched that much and then i'm gonna list loads and you guys are gonna be like uh sounds quite a lot shannon <laughs> i've watched but they're not all in one go it was like over a few weeks so christmas chronicles one and two we watched and we've watched i watched holly date which if nobody's seen it it's hilarious it's so so good um and i watched is it called christmas inheritance or something if anybody remembers the sleepover club showing my age now uh it was on nickelodeon um the get the leading girl in it was rosie in a sleepover club I was like, oh my god, I used to love that program. Um, so she's in it, and that's quite a good one. A bit cheesy, but it's good. I think now I'm going to go in. I'm going to gradually get a little bit darker, but nothing too extravagant, but nothing too crazy. I think I'm going to go in with maybe Bing. Yeah, we'll do that. So we're going with that. But yeah, no, I haven't watched that many, so I'm a little bit sad. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. I need to watch Elf. Need to watch Elf. Um, I love Miracle on 34th Street. That's like me and my mum's film. And I love A Wonderful Life. I love that film. Oh. Um, and I also love Santa Claus with Tim Allen. And also I love the Dudley Moore one. So, you know, my Christmas checklist is quite quite large so i'm now gonna go in with i think mm, drunk dial which is this one here so it's this is like a shimmery color like a shimmery i want to say like a truffly color comes out a little bit like this if you can see that like the tiniest bit ever so i don't even know why i'm trying to show you that but yeah so i'm just gonna try and bring it a little bit more got some little bit of sparkle to add as well which i'm very excited about okay so just using like a, a damp flat brush i'm just going to add a little bit of shimmer because you know how much i love that and i think i'm going to use oh i don't know let me swatch it before i actually do that what are we thinking yeah we'll go with that so this one's called turn on I'm just going to apply that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow, okay. So I'm just putting that in like sort of like the empty space. If you will. Nice. I like that. You ever want like a 
a glitter or a shimmer or like even like a creamy colour to come out a bit more intense. You'll always use either your finger or a damp brush. I always find flat brushes work the best. So what I've been doing is this sounds a little bit weird, but I've been using a little miniature thing. I think I got this in like a gift set or something. It's Benefits Their Real Tinted Prime and I'm pretty sure it's for your eyelashes. But what I've been doing, um, because my eyebrows, like, there's no secret, there's nothing there. Um, so, but instead, what I wanted to do is try and to get it a little bit more natural looking, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I will be going slightly stronger for this look. Um, it's just to sort of brush the actual hairs, just to make them darker, and then go in and fill in, um, instead of just sort of going straight in to fill everything. Um... Just to also make it a little bit quicker for myself. Um, so yeah, I just do that. So I just literally brush them up and then over. Brush them up and then over. So yeah, I've just been doing that just because I think it then sort of carves out my natural shape. And then it's easy for me to sort of see where I need to fill in. Um, I'm just literally using an eyeshadow that's from another naked palette it's naked reloaded so the one that looks like this um, and it's the co color called end game that i use to fill in my brows um like i said on this look i'm going to go a little bit stronger just because of the eye look that i'm doing i mean we'll keep going we'll just keep going i'm going to add underneath the eye just to see if that makes a little bit of a difference but you know when you have an idea in mind and it's just not kind of coming out as you will on paper so to speak yeah that's happening right now so i'm just going under with bing use that dark brown there privacy it's called um, i'm just going to go along the lash lines so i'm not making a flick or anything like that because i am going to be applying fake lashes um so i'm just gonna literally just bring it across the mascara I'm going to be using today, even though I am using fake eyelashes, I'm really loving it. It's a Clinique one. I'm sure it's Clinique. Oh, Clarins. Oops, sorry. Um, the mascara I'm using today, even though I'm using fake eyelashes, has been brilliant. I really enjoyed it. And one of my friends gave it to me. She never used it. It's a Clarins one, Mascara Super Volume. It's amazing. Like, I'm loving it. Okay. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara. But I do one and I'll show you what I mean. Like, and it's so easy to apply. I'm a bit of a lazy mascara wearer. <laughs> like, you know how some people just layer it on? I'm not that, I'm not about that life. I literally just want to be able to apply a few, like, strokes of it. But I also like it to look thick, like not clumpy, thick. Can you see the difference? I just love it. I just make, I think it also makes it look like I've got eyeliner on. Like that's why I wasn't that bothered. Like I just, just literally going cross with the brown because I'm purely putting on fake eyelashes on. And a little top tip. So if you're applying mascara and you're like me and you get it all over your lid, if it's on shim, I always call it shim, shimmer, like what I've got on, because you're using a damp brush, you can just apply it again over the mascara bits. So you can probably see that I've got some little mistakes there. So just using the same brush and just dampening it again. Um, this is like an empty bottle of like makeup brush cleaner. But I've just filled it up with like water. Um, and then just tap off the excess, go back in, turn on, and then I literally just reapply it over. So you don't have to worry about trying to wipe it all off, put more on. I literally just go over the mistake. And it goes. It's a little top tip for you. Don't You don't need to like take it off and then put more over. Dampen your brush and place it over and it gets rid gonna let all of that dry um so what i'm gonna do as well is another thing i've been sort of doing is just adding a little bit of um 
So where I've used turned on, obviously I've used that more intensely on my lid. But I'm just going to use like a little bit as like a highlight under my eyebrows. So I'm just literally tapping it in a tiniest bit. I feel like it just marries it up quite nicely. So I'm just tapping the excess off my hand. I just think it like marries the look up quite nicely. Can you see that? I just think it gives it like a nice little... So we've been using a shimmer, obviously if it's like a light sh shimmer, like if it was, um, I mean you can if you want, if it was like a more of like a colour, like if it was a pink or whatever, I wouldn't necessarily put it on. Um, but if it's something that's golden or anything like that, I've just been using that literally, just putting it in, dapping off this excess so it's not too intense and just put it on the brow bone. And I just think it like marries it up quite nicely. I've just been doing that recently. I didn't get it from anywhere, I just thought, oh do you know what, I'm just going to try this and see if it looks right. And it did. I've been using it with the Vive palette with Glimmer, which is the lighter shade. It works really nicely. So I'm just going to let them do their business and dry. And I'm going to do go onto the lip and then do the eyelashes last. So I don't know. To, uh, this is the colour I was going to use. But I don't know if I can get away with it. Should we give it a go? And if not, I can just take it off. So I will line my lips. I do have it's a dry line up when I mean that it's like a really matte liner I'm not a fan of matte lipsticks at all um, and sometimes I find lip liners are like that this is high energy pro longwear lip pencil by MAC um, I'm just going to really gradually line them Okay, so I've lined my lips. So this is, I don't know if they do this anymore, so I apologise if I'm going to be that really annoying person where I'm recommending a product and they don't even stock it anymore. But they might do. I think it was a limited range though, but it's MAC Oh Sweetie. And it's just, what's it called? My eyes are getting so bad, guys. Um, strawberry Tort. Oh, Strawberry, yeah, Strawberry Tort. But they smell amazing. Oh, it smells of um oh what is it you know the strawberry sweets that you get with like the white oh, what is it? i don't even know what you'd call it it's like the long licorice the red licorice but not licorice and it's got the white center in the middle and it's really oh they were like my favorite i really want them now um are they called strawberry pe strawberry pencil i think that's what they're called they smell exactly like that not strawberry laces strawberry pencil so good i love the red it's a good christmas day red can i mm. Mm. guys i think i could do it we're going with it i quite like it now it's toned down i think at first when it's like the shininess of it it's a bit much but now it's making me think do we wear eyelashes do we not Again, let's just play it by ear. This is what this whole video has been like. <laughs> so I've got these Enchanted Allure um, lashes. I really like these where they're more dramatic and fluttery at the ends um, and less dramatic to the inner corners. So all the dra all of the dramas at the end, I really like those. So we'll give these a try. Um, if it's too dramatic, I will just take them off, to be honest. Um, but we'll give it a go. So I'm just going to go off camera to do these just because a little bit fiddly um so be right back okay i'm actually really liking this look guys um you guys might think it's a little bit too much at home and i fully appreciate that um this is quite a lot of makeup but i actually really like it <laughs> um i would normally if somebody said to me oh, i want pink on my eyes and red on my lips i'd not want to go uh, no um but no i'm actually all for this look i'm not gonna lie about it <laughs> um i think it looks really nice there's enough on the eyes it brings it out a little bit it just kind of lifts the face up but i just think i think it looks really nice and i think with a black top it all like sort of really complements each other um yeah no i really liked that so I will list everything that I've used down below, guys. But that is the for Christmas Day. Might be a bit much for some people, but I personally really, really like it. I may even do this on my Christmas Day. Um, or even if, you know, if you're having New Year's, obviously a lot of people, well, everyone's going to be having it at home unless you're going out for dinner and things like that. Um, this would be a good look as well. Um, 
I dyed down the red lip with sort of patting it, the old fashioned sort of trick and things like that. Um, but you could easily team this up with like a nude lip or like more like a burgundy, like a berry sort of color would look nice as well. Or even just with a simple bit of lip gloss just to give it a little bit of shine would be really, really nice. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I had a lot of fun actually doing it and just sort of playing around with sort of palettes and sort of makeup products that I haven't used in a while or like a little bit I've forgotten about them. I feel really guilty saying that. But just, you know, trying new things and just trying different looks that I wouldn't necessarily normally put together. So I hope you guys did as well. But like I mentioned earlier, if you do think of any makeup looks that you would like me to do or any sort of touching on specific things in further sort of detail that you'd like me to do a video on, do let me know. I read all of the comments down below i really appreciate every single one of them um i love that you guys are enjoying the videos as well um and like i mentioned earlier if you haven't subscribed already please do hit that subscription button it doesn't cost a thing to subscribe it just really helps my channel grow and i really do appreciate it so i'm just next to my next milestone um but again thank you very much for watching i really really appreciate it and i will speak to you guys soon thanks